you ever wondered how people make these super smooth cinematic car videos you see on social media? In this video, I'll show you how to do them completely for free using DaVinci Resolve. I won't be covering the color grading process in this tutorial since I have many already made on my page. First things first, open your project settings in the bottom right corner. Make sure the frame rate is set to 60 and keep timeline resolution in HD or 4K, depending on where you are planning to post the video. Drag the audio layer to the timeline. If the audio only plays on your other stereo and not both, right-click on it, click on Clip Attributes. Go over to Audio and under Format, choose Stereo. Under None, select Embedded Channel 1. Go through the audio and press M to mark all of the beat points on the audio. Once that's done, start selecting the clips for the video. Select the part you want to use and cut it so it ends on the first beat marker. I recommend slowing down the clip 50% to get that cinematic slow motion. Only do this if the clips are shot with 50 or 60 frames per second, otherwise it will look laggy. Repeat this process until you have placed the clips for the whole edit. Once all the clips are in place, we need to stabilize them. Select the first clip and open it in Fusion. Press Shift plus Space and search for Tracker. Place the tracker on a high contrast point and next to Adaptive Mode, choose Best Match. Track the video forward. Go over to Operation and choose Background Only. Search for Transform. Use scale and center values to remove the transparent edges. If you need help centering the car, you can search for grid. Change the cell's amount to 4 so you can see the perfect middle point. Once the car is centered, you can delete the grid. Repeat this process for all of the clips. Once all of the clips are stable, we can add some more spice to the movements. Drag an adjustment layer onto the timeline. Make a keyframe for zoom in the first frame. Zoom in slightly and after that, move over to the end and reset the zoom. Now you should have a zoom out like this, which gives the footage some more life in my opinion. You can do zoom ins and zoom outs to get some variety on the moves. Not every clip needs this, but I generally like to add it to almost every one. Here you have a beautiful cinematic car edit. Now just slap a color grade on it and it's good to go. If you want to learn speed ramp editing, check out this video.